Okay, so I will uh, do the uh, so so we go to the two ovipole case. Uh, so we do the some uh, more concentrate on the two ovipoles. You know. So uh, basically, we do topology of ovipoles and the smooth two ovipoles and triangulation. So uh, so we only do actually smooth ovipoles, but. Uh, so again, the uh, lecture uh, uh, notes uh, will be based on the, these uh, articles and uh, books here. Um, and uh, uh, please uh, see these uh, if you have any questions and so on. Uh, so we now wish to do concentration on uh, OV4. And uh, so basically, the for two OV4, the singularity is just, uh, you just have to classify the finite the groups in O2, so which is just uh, G2 acting as a reflection group or rotation group of uh, pi over 2. Or... So G2 has two two different representations, actually, right? And then there's a cyclic group of CN of order bigger than or equal to 3, and the, the dihedral group of order bigger than or equal to 4, and so on. So those are the all, all the uh, O and uh, O2 uh, subgroups, the finite group. And the, so the according to this uh, singularities as the silver points uh, and the cone points of order two uh, which correspond to this and the corner reflectors of order two is uh, this one tn and then the uh, uh, so the cone points also uh, cor correspond to order these, these things with cn very good and then these c's correspond to cone, corner reflectors uh, so on the boundary of the surface with corners, we can uh, take mutually disjoint uh, open arcs uh, ending at corners, and the uh, and the two arcs meet at the corner point, and the corner point is a distinguished arc one, and the, if not, the corner point is ordinary. So the choice of arcs will be called the boundary. So we have a sub some surface with corners, and you can. Um, Take these uh, open arcs ending at the corners, and uh, if the so if these two arcs will be silver, so they so the corner point will be uh, some sort of a corner reflector point, and then so on. So if not, uh, if if it doesn't end uh, with the if two doesn't end, then it's just the ordinary uh, point, and uh, this choice of arcs will be called the boundary pattern. So, uh, so surface with the corners and the collection of discrete points in the in interior and the boundary pattern. So then uh, we can uh, put the uh, ovipole structure so that the interior points become the cone points and the distinguished corner points become the corner reflectors and the boundary points in the arc of silver arc, silver points, okay. Um, okay. Uh, yeah, silver, uh, and then these uh, corner reflectors can have any uh, order you want, and then corner uh, cone points can have any uh, order, okay, you want. So, uh, so this should be here, but uh, I guess this bit wrong. But, uh, um, so, uh, so basically, this construction will work, and then you can uh, do this, okay. So that's not that completely trivial, but uh, I think you have to. Uh, work through to get this. So you can always give this kind of structure. Um, and the triangulation of two ovipoles and classification. So we can put a Riemannian metric on two ovipoles so that the boundary is a union of geodesic arcs and each corner reflectors have angle uh, pi divided by n for its order and then cone points has an angle two pi divided by n. So n is actually, a corner reflector is just a uh, so I guess uh, it is the half of the order of the group. So this is a bit different. Okay. Okay. So uh, so the basic uh, we did it for all the ovipore, but uh, we 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 can do it for some uh, two ovipores as well. But uh, uh, so it's just a two ovipore case of that. So so you you use uh, uh, some uh, first construct the metric on the boundary by putting uh, such metric on the boundary by using broken geodesics in euclidean plane and uh, around the cone points and, and so on so you using the partition of unity so 
So if you have uh, some corner reflectors of angle pi divided by n, then you, you put that uh, Euclidean angle to be pi divided by n, and then uh, so on, okay? So you can put that kind of a structure by just uh, just modeling by the Euclidean metric near the boundary, okay? And then the, uh, so, uh, so you can remove some uh, open bars around the cone points and the corner reflectors, and you obtain a smooth surface with the uh, uh, corners. Um, all right, so, so the Riemannian metric part is that you have to put that uh, metric around the boundary, and then uh, at the cone point, you have to put the Euclidean metric uh, with the order n uh, action on it, quotient by that. And then you can use the uh, uh, rest of that. You can give uh, any metric you want, and then you can use a uh, partition immunity. So, so what's good about the Riemannian metric is that you can always use a partition immunity to get the uh, uh, add up any two uh, met Riemannian metric, and you get a Riemannian metric. So, okay. So that's why you use Riemannian metric so open. Okay, uh, and. Uh, because it's uh, very convenient. So by removing open bars around the cone points and the corner reflectors, we obtain a smooth surface with corners. And uh, you can find the smooth triangulation so the interior of each side is completely inside the boundary with the corners uh, re removed. And, uh, and then you can extend the triangulation uh, by cone construction to the interior of the Imanian bar. So this, this part is about the triangulation. Okay, so this is part about the... Um, so what I'm saying is, uh, you obtain uh, some smooth surface with uh, corners, and you find the triangulation of that, and then you extend uh, using the cone construction. Uh, so, uh, so the theorem is that any two of four is obtained from a uh, smooth surface with corners by silvering some arcs and putting uh, cone points and corner reflectors. Okay. Uh, so, uh, so, so basically, this is all the construction you can do, and uh, uh, of course, uh, you need some proof. But uh, I, I am not going to give a proof. But basically, it's very simple. And uh, uh, two over four is classified by underlying smooth topology of the surface by corners and the numbers and orders of the cone points and corner reflectors and the boundary patterns of the silver rock. So. <laughs> So as long as you know the combinatorial data of the, these uh, corners and the cone points and the corner reflectors and the boundary pattern, then that's the classification, okay? Uh, and of course, uh, underlying uh, smooth topology, okay? So the basic uh, proof is that uh, you can use the isotopies. Uh, so whenever you want to move some one point to another cone point, you need to just draw the arc going there and then uh, follow the arc and then using the some vector field, you extend that over the vector field and then you use the partition of unity, okay? Then you can find the vector field that moves one cone point to the other. And uh, for the boundary, it's the same. Uh, and the bound corner reflectors, you can do the very similar things and uh, so on, okay? So, uh, so those are the just ideas, just using the vector fields and partition of unity. So, so isotopies are usually just uh, uh, such things. So, um, so in general, uh, smooth uh, overall has a smooth topological stratification and triangulation, so that each uh, cell is uh, contained in a single strata and the uh, smooth uh, topological triangulation satisfying certain recondition have. Uh, triangulation. So uh, one should show that the uh, uh, type satisfied this condition. Uh, so this is what we did the last time. So, okay. And uh, uh, so existence of locally uh, finite good covering. So uh, so this is, uh, uh, so we, when you have an ovipole, you can give a very good uh, covering. So uh, there exists a good covering, so which means that uh, each open set is connected and charts uh, cells as a cover. Uh, and the uh, intersection of uh, finite collection of such will have such properties, okay? So uh, each point has an open neighborhood uh, with the action which is conjugate to orthogonal one, okay? And then the, 
So we can even choose uh, something that's smaller so that it has satisfied the convexity property, which means that so if you take any two points in it, then there's a, a geodesic that can be uh, inside, or you can put any path can be homotopy to a geodesic inside. Okay. So that's uh, what's called the convex normal neighborhood. Uh, it's uh, what's uh, discovered. I think it's in the Riemannian uh, metric, uh, Riemannian uh, geometry course. Uh, but not for the OV4, but uh, anyway, so uh, so OV4s are just locally manifold up to some finite action, so you can do this also. Okay, uh, so you can uh, find the locally finite uh, subcollection like this, and the uh, uh, intersection of any finite collection is still convex and as a cell as a cover. Okay, okay so that's the uh, first part of this lecture here. Uh,